Three Bible examples of, a, of honor experts, a politician, a prince, and a prostitute, all treated dishonorably yet honor experts. The first, Daniel the politician, who was also a prophet. You know his story. He was one of the top politicians, one of the top guys for King Darius. <clears throat> King Darius so needed him, he couldn't make things work without him, but that provoked jealousy among all the other politicians. Kind of sounds a little familiar, right? So there was some serious um, jealousy going on so that they tricked King Darius into making a law because they knew Daniel was loyal to his God and honorable to his God. They tricked King Darius into making a law where the, and for the next 30 days, nobody could pray to anybody but King Darius. I know. Kind of tells you a little something about King Darius, doesn't it? So, of course, Daniel gets thrown in the lines. Daniel, you know the story. King Darius can't sleep all night because he knows he can't run the country without this guy. That's how valuable he is. And the next morning, they roll back the, ro the rock on the lion's den, and the king yells down, Daniel, was your God able to save you from the lion's den? And listen to Daniel's answer. You want to talk about an honor expert. Daniel's answer, he opens up his mouth, and he shouts this from the lion's den. Long live the king. Long live the king, my God sent an angel and shut the lion's mouth and saved me out of all his trouble. Notice what Daniel didn't say. He didn't say, oh, great wise king, you're such an awesome guy and your hair is amazing. <laughs> in fact, last night in the Dan lion's den, I was on my phone and I was just Googling you at the, the Oscars when you gave that speech last year and you just, it brings me to tears again. He didn't say any of that stuff. Daniel wasn't into verbal bribery. He wasn't into flattery. You know why? Because that's dishonorable. When you speak things that are not honest, they're not honorable. He spoke true honor. He spoke a blessing on the king, and he said, long life to you, king. That's what he spoke to him. 